Good evening, Raspberry Heads. Today we're going to be talking about installing the safe shutdown script, so get ready. All right, guys, so first things first, what we're gonna be doing is pushing F4 on the keyboard to get to the command prompt. And if you're brand new to this, if you ever get to this screen and you need to go back to MU station, you just type in emulation station and hit enter and it'll zip you right back to it. Uh, but to essentially create this startup uh, script, uh, or sorry, shutdown script, what you'll first need to do is connect to Wi-Fi. So if you haven't seen that in my videos already, definitely get that uh, set up first and then uh, you can follow this video along. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and get the exact uh, description here and uh, we will get started. All right, so to keep going on this, uh, we're gonna go to the RetroPie options, Raspberry Config. We're gonna hit enter. And the reason why we've got to uh, I uh, do this is because the keyboard is set to the UK uh, keys and what we need to do is get it to uh, uh, the US keys so you know you can type in pipe and uh, you know double quotes so you're gonna go to localization uh, so that's number four and then you're gonna go to keyboard layout and it's gonna pull up basically every language and we are going to use the generic 105 um, and you're just gonna hit enter. And then you might not see the same uh, you know, uh, path here, but basically we need the English US if you are uh, using a English or US keyboard. So if you don't see these, you're probably seeing UK uh, what you want to do is scroll down to the other option at the very bottom and push OK. And then you will see a English uh, US option and you'll hit OK and then you'll be prompted to uh, display this. So you're going to select English uh, US and then you're going to basically see uh, this screen here. You're just going to hit OK. You're going to see another screen. You're going to go down. You'll hit OK. And you've got your keys now set up to the English uh, version. And all we've got to do is now type in a path uh, after we've gone down here and hit finish. It's going to bring me back here. And what we've got to do is hit F4 to get to the command prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you'll see something like this. And now we're going to type out something that's got to be uh, case sensitive and space sensitive. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that out so you don't have to uh, watch me do that. All right, so I've typed in the hot mess of uh, text that we've gotta type in. Let me zoom in here. So we need wget, then a uh, website, which is included in your retro flag uh, instructions. And I'll include that in the description below but I'm going to try to zoom out here so you can see it all. And once you've typed it in, you're just going to hit enter and then it's going to start loading and your startups or your shutdown script will uh, fire off. So you're going to see it's going to be loading here for a little bit, but it doesn't take too long. And once that is done loading, uh, you will have your shutdown script all set and baked. And that should be it. So you should be safe on shutting down your RetroPie. And there shouldn't be too many more tutorials on uh, setting this uh, RetroPie up, which is pretty exciting. Uh, the only other video I can think of uh, about doing at this moment is uh, how to add files um, you know, using Windows 10, uh, you know, adding games or media, uh, it shouldn't be too hard, but that should be the last video. So, uh, that's exciting and, uh, and we'll catch you next time.